What's up everybody, Derek here. We're at Bass Pro right now. We're gonna go through the plastics. I was actually just gonna just do a walkthrough and pick some lures out for myself, but might as well just go through all of these and show y'all. So let's look at all these plastics and see what they have to offer. All right, we got all the Zoom stuff starting out right into the Bass Pro stuff. So you've got all your old monsters, your big curly tail worms and stuff, all colors, June bug, watermelon candy, all the good stuff. And, they're pretty much all around that same price tag of 450 but you get into some smaller ones you can see they start 429 so you've got your little utails that are getting smaller your little finesse stuff so plenty of zoom and those will catch some fish for sure but these rage tails for that carolina rig during the summertime those are awesome if you want to try those out but 599 six dollars you get quite a few in that bag so and then you've definitely got your big worms with all the Bass Pro stuff. And you can save some money with some of the Bass Pro stuff. And it works too, $379. And it just keeps going up. You got lots and lots of worms, tons of them. And then you get into the smaller ones that are more kind of finesse style with some stick baits and then culprit. I haven't really used a whole lot of culprit, but if you look at them at the, those curly tails for like six bucks, $529. Those can catch some fish as well. And as we turn around, we got six cents. They got their little section right here with some, some craws and some creature baits looks like. About five bucks, that's not too bad. But then look at this. Look at all these Guggen baits from like right here all the way down, tons of them. So you got the saucy swimmers at six bucks. Oh, so many different ones. And then you start getting into the trench hog, which is which is a great, great flipping bait and Texas rigging. And then your pure passion. I like that color right there on the bandito bug. But these right here, I can already tell those would be money for some bed fishing at six bucks right there. And as you go down through here, I mean, they got so many different colors. I think a lot of them are just kind of placed here because of stock or inventory but there's just tons of them the crack and crawl i mean and i love it that they have these whites it's hard to find a lot of white baits a lot of the time for, or, or at least it is for me for whenever i'm bait uh bed fishing but this is one i really want to try is this, this slim shake worm and is also this drag and drop on a drop shot but this is my Carolina rig right there, that Mondo worm. Then you get into these lunker logs and they're all pretty much at six bucks. So not too bad. You got the lunker cities there, not a whole lot of them, but your power bait stuff, just the general stuff. A lot of that's, you can find that at Walmart pretty much anywhere. So let's go to the next style. All right, we got more zoom stuff. So we're starting to get into the lizards and these lizards have always been a good one for me. They are money, but look at the price tag. You can save tons of money on these Zoom lizards. Three bucks, and they will catch you some fish. And the Magnums will, too. Catch you some big ones on a Carolina rig or something like that. But three bucks. And then you've got some of these mini small lizards that are actually a little bit more in price because of uh, being smaller. Those are perfect for creek fishing. Then you got, of course, your, your Strike Kings, which are at six bucks. And the rage tails with the lizards. And you got, I love the coffee scent that they put into some of these, these perfect plastics from Strike King. I mean, the rodent, that is an awesome flipping bait. Just good overall. And then the yum dingers, you can save some money with these too. The yum dingers, that's my go-to uh, instead of a Senko, usually most of the time. But the yum products, I mean, look, three bucks right there. You get you a good woolly hogtail. These things are awesome, almost like a brush hog or anything like that. They just are great for catching fish, flipping and pitching. And this one is too, the woolly bug. I've become a fan of Yum products over the years, but they don't have bad prices either. So you can go out there and it's probably not as durable of a plastic, but save you a little money. And then of course, some more power bait at like five bucks. They've got some good stuff. I've always liked their scent that they put into these baits. And then you got some net bait stuff. I haven't really used a whole lot of these, but that would be a perfect trailer right there on a jig. 
Then you got some more zoom stuff. You're starting to get in your, your speed crawls, your crawl kind of stuff, brush hogs. Yeah, here's the brush hog. That is a go-to right there. Right there's my go-to watermelon seed brush hog right there. You can't go wrong with that one. 440, basically. Then you got your Jean LaRue plastics, and then we're back into some Bass Pro stuff with the Bass Pro lizards and all of this is kind of the flipping aisle in a way. So you've got all your craws. I mean, they're really about the same price. They're pretty much mid-range of what the, most of the prices on this aisle are. And then you, you still got your creature baits. These are always a good option if you're trying to save some money. But in my experience, I'd rather go with the Zoom or a Yum. But that's just kind of me. These chompers, I've always liked their trailers. I've never used these stick baits like that. But at six bucks, I don't know if I would be going with that. More power bait stuff at five bucks. Just some more stick baits. This is a stick bait aisle, basically. Then you got all your Yum Dingers. I mean, look at the selection of Yum Dingers right there. That is a ton of them. At three bucks, you can't go wrong with that. That's why I fish with those a lot of the time. Plus they're at Walmart too. So if you got a Walmart nearby and you run out. Then there's some net bait stuff. They're not too bad. I haven't used a whole lot of their stuff. And then of course, Bass Pro's got their little selection of stick baits here. But 450 compared to the Yum, I think I'd go with the Yum over those. And then Zoom's got their finesse trick worms just lots of trick worms i've always liked zoom and yum and just classic plastics over the years and you go over here and you got even more kind of trick worm type stuff with the bass pros at 419 not too bad and then six cents has got their little stuff here with their stick baits and look at how big that one is that's a big bulky worm right there that would be an awesome carolina rig bait right there but more stick baits and that's the ocho i used to fish with those when i wanted a more bulky drop shot back in the day and then of course gary yamamoto's got his stuff here which is classic stuff that will stand the test of time these these stick baits right here are not what made the stick bait market what it is. But look at that, 769. That is pretty hefty price for a stick bait when you've got right on the other side, three bucks. Three bucks. That's just me right there, Yum Dinger, my go to's. And look at that pink. Anybody gonna be fishing with that? But Bass Pro's got their take on all the stick baits as well. And then at the end, the Z-Man with their elastic stuff. They even got some finesse, like Ned Rig, some turds. They're not too expensive. I love to go and look at all the stuff in this store. It's so much fun. But let me know what you guys think of those plastics. But thanks for watching, you guys. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one.